So back in 2013, Pininfarina released a car called the Sergio, after Paolo's father, Sergio. It's loosely based on the Enzo from memory. It was a really nice looking thing. To celebrate this, he took it on tour, the car. And the UK, sort of, well, one of the UK destinations was to be a world record attempt at gathering as many Pininfarina bodied cars together as possible in one place, which, you know, I think you do it in Italy, but they didn't, they did it in the UK. And due to the Dino connections, I got an invite. And this was all to be held at um, Kenny Jones's private polo club. Now, Kenny Jones, drummer of the Small Faces, latterly the Faces with Rod Stewart, then in The Who, you know, so uh, rock royalty. And as you do, I guess, you, <laughs> when you make that sort of money, you take up expensive hobbies and and a private polo club was obviously his thing so that's that was that and you know I was a little bit oh, I don't know about this if it's sort of my thing or you know I don't know I don't know I didn't know what to think about it and it was in June from memory and it sort of the day arrived and it was it was a nice sunny day and we had lunch at home and you know, weekend I don't work at weekends if I can help it I try to spend family time we had lunch and I thought, hang on, I thought, you know, this is, this is, I should really make the effort to go to this because I, you know, you don't get many invites like that. So I thought I'll make the effort. So I came down here and I, and I dragged out this one and I put it on a trailer and then I towed it with my Fiat 130 coupe, which of course is a pinna for in a car. And I thought, well, that's just, you know, this would be good to turn up. We've got two cars towards the world record that way. If only I had a pinna for in a car trailer, it would have been three. Anyway, so I turned up. And yeah, it did, it, 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 you know, people liked it. It was great to see it. There was one other Dino in attendance, Dino Spider, but that was, a, you know, that was it. And I think I was the only Fiat 130. Anyway, so that was the thing. So I'm there with my daughter, who was probably been about um, seven or eight at that point. And we sort of had a walk around and, and, the, and there is a Sergio on display, you know, this, this, this concept car, absolutely stunning looking thing. And there's a little bit of a queue of people queuing up to get into it and, and get their photos taken. So, you know, I said to Bella, I said, you know, fancy sitting in it, you know, we'll get a picture. She says, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you know, okay, Dad, we'll do that. So we queue up and it, it took a little while and we, we get into the, you know, it's like, oh, you know, Bella's go next to get in this car. And then suddenly this bloke cuts across us, very smart looking guy, and leaps in it. And I'm about to pull him up on this and then I realised <laughs> the family resemblance. It's Paolo Pina Farina. It's get, you know, it's his car, it's his company, and it's in honour of his dad. And of course, he starts getting sort of a bit papped at this point by all these photographers and so on. And I realised, okay, well, you know, he's not being rude at all. He's obviously been asked to sit in it, and then you know, the the little session of people sitting in it was over. So I was glad I didn't say anything because I'd have looked a bit silly. But. You know, we hung around to see what went on and just enjoy the spectacle. And then there's these two lads there, um, sort of, you know, you could tell they were from money, you know, probably hang around at polo clubs and the like, but, you know, right sort of mockney idiots, you know. And uh, Paolo's sort of you know, in the car and then he gets out and then they're going, how much is this car, mate, mate? What's it worth? What's it worth, this car and all this nonsense? And he sort of looks at them slightly bemused, and then his eyes set. He says, it is not for sale. <laughs> just wanders off. I just thought, what a lovely anecdote. And uh, that stuck with me. So it's a sort of one of those sort of situations in life, isn't it? That, you know, money can buy you lots of stuff. You know, it can, it, you know enough Charlie to choke a horse. Um, all the optics drained in the bar. You know, tasteless clothes, whatever, whatever. But it can't buy your class. And Paolo had it in spades, you know. And... Um, that's the only thing I can say about him. So, um, you know, rest in peace, Paolo. It's, um, you know, you were a class act. Good night. <laughs>